everybody, how you doing? This is Josh Brainow with Fox River Security Elements. On behalf of J2S Tactical, I'd like to welcome you to the gear review of the Hydro Pack uh, by uh, Condor. They're, they have several different types of Hydro Packs. I'm going to cover one of them, um, kind of give you an idea on those. One thing that does come standard, <coughs> excuse me, with our Hydro Packs, and I'll start off with, is the bladder. Um, this is a bladder that does come standard with it. Um, they're yeah, there are two downsides, in my opinion, to this bladder um, that I'll cover in just a second. One of the pluses is it does come with a thin neoprene um, protector for the actual hose itself. Um, it has the bite, um, the bite plate, uh, if you will, um, uh, valve for the uh, for the you know the hydration. Um, it is uh, in this case for this one, it's a 2.5 liter. Um, uh, you know, about 88, 80, 89 ounce um, bladder. Uh, the two downsides that I came out with, first of all, the actual cap for this bladder is not attached in any way. Um, honestly, there's no real way to attach it, so that's a downside to it. The other thing that I found is a downside, which is probably easily changed, uh, something that I, uh, I'm going to have to explore. Based on looking at this, I, I looked at it, I do have uh, a camelback bladder um, that I prefer because of this. This bite plate is annoying. Um, you have to turn it to get it to, you know, to go into open valve position. So um, it is kind of an awkward, you know, trying to get this thing to adjust to the way you need it to be for yourself. Um, you kind of fight with it. Um, Camelback has a switch on theirs and it pretty much stays in one position. So it makes it a little bit easier to use. The other thing is when it does come to you, you are going to have to cut the slit in the actual um, the bite area itself for your fluid. So those are the two downsides that I see to this. Um, something that can be easily fixed um, by uh, by either putting a camel back in here, wherever the case would be, um, a different style bladder. If you like the bladder, then go with it. Again, this is something that's for you. Um, one of the things I did add to this, I have my Ranger, um, my Ranger beads um, on here. Um, I do have on the back, we'll start with that, the straps, um, they are padded. Um, they, have a, they have a light padding in there. It's not something that, um, it's really thick. You can't fit a lot in this bag, so um, you know you're not going to put a lot of weight in there. So I don't, I don't foresee that being a problem. The nice thing about the back of this, um, and you can see this in, in this uh, in this video here, is on on both sides it does have the the padding for the sides. Your spine fits right up and nice in here, so this pack folds and conforms to your body rather nicely. It does have a lower plate, a uh, lower padding here. It's not super thick. So don't expect too much um, out of it comfort-wise. They do have two side pockets right here along the side. Two small, really quick access little pockets. Throw, you know, whatever you want in there. Um, it's really, really nice on that aspect. Um, there's a couple other things on this pack that I'll point out to you guys. Um, on the top part of it, you have the zipper area. It's got a small, uh, nice, small zippered area here that's got a soft cloth padding. You can put a GPS in there, a cell phone, whatever the case may be, it's not gonna scratch it up. On the back of it, it does have the hook and loop. Rocking the J2S tactical uh, patch there. Um, it does have a large packet or, or pouch rather on the outside of it. Um, hook and loop on the inside here. Um, pouch on the inside. Zippered pouch here. So a lot of a lot of storage area, a lot of storage space. Does have a small um, you know opening down at the bottom to bleed out anything you know small dust or sand whatever that you get in there. Does have the molly on the outside which makes it really nice. You can attach more pockets or pouches if you need to. Um, on the inside large opening and you see it could you know you can fit a fair amount in here for a small pack which is really uh, really kind of nice um, and on the inside it has the pouch in, you know as well I will point out to you guys a little bit separate area right here right on the right on the grab here open it up that's where you're gonna find your hydro um, area as you can see I've stuck my whole forearm inside there it's pretty deep um, it's a pretty good sized pack so um, I did field test this uh, this past weekend it's rugged um, I beat it, to, uh, beat it to heck. Um, I will say that um, I, I really put it through its paces. Um, can't say enough about it uh, as far as the pack itself. Other than the hydro bladder, this is actually a really good pack. Um, uh, very, very sturdy, very durable. Carried a lot of gear. Um, yeah, I was in a really, really, really rough and deep brush, um, rough terrain, deep brush, lots of rocks. Um, you know, sliding all over the place, falling down, going through tons of trees and stuff like that. It stayed tight, it stayed close to my body. Um, it does have the chest, um, the chest buckle right across the front, as well as the waist, uh, the cummerbund style um, waist buckle as well. So tough, rugged, I, I can't say enough. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask, uh, you know, send, send me messages. 
um, to uh, to J2S Apple at their email for their sales. If you have any questions, um, other than that, I hope you guys have a safe day. Enjoy your uh, enjoy your day, and as always, please be safe out there. Be careful. Uh, thank you, and uh, God bless. You.